All right, next section, section 8.4. This is logs and exp or exponents. Log logarithms and exponents, but I thought it was nice to shorten them, logs and exps. There, here we go, what is the purpose of this? We are going to solve equations involving logs and exponents. Pretty straightforward. Now, for today, it's all gonna be examples, and it's gonna require a lot of algebra. So you need to get familiar with this, knowing how to convert between the two of these, and trying to solve. Here we go. So we've got five to the power of two x equals seven. So how can I solve this? Well, first thing, I'm going to use the definition of logs to put this into log form. Because then from there, it's pretty straightforward. Just divide by two, plug this in your calculator. I'm assuming by now that you have log base five of seven in your calculator, and I'm not gonna show you the change in base. If you have an issue with that, come to me in class and I can re-explain that. But I think most of you have calculators that do this. So plug it in, get your answer. Not, not, not too bad. Hopefully that one made sense. Let's get a little bit tougher. So we've got something like this. So we are going to take the log of both sides. Notice it's an exponent with an exponent. So I can't just use the, the log rule to be able to transform that. It won't work. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the, the log on the left into log five plus log two to the x plus one. And I'm going to apply the power rule, taking the power x plus one and bringing it out front. But please make sure that you factor out, or not factor out, you expand log five plus two to the power of x plus one. Otherwise, uh, you might get confused. So make sure you bring out that five, uh, five times the exponent in order to make this work. So I got this. Let's expand the logs into the brackets. You get something like this. And in order to solve this, notice I have two x's in there. So I'm going to bring both the x's onto the left-hand side of the equation, put the other ones on the right. So I put the two x's on the left-hand side, and all the ones without x's are on the right. Factor out the x, divide by the bracket. And then you get this really long, weird equation, but you can just simply put that in your calculator, get a number. So once you get to that point, not too bad. Again, make sure that you are following these, make sure that each step makes sense. If there's one step going in between two of these that don't make sense, put a star or write this down in your notes so that you can come to me later and ask it. Next one, here's this equation. So we want to solve for x. I've got two x's in there in crazy spots in the exponents. Because it's in the exponents, I know I need to use log. So let's just start off by logging both sides. Then I'm going to expand both of those logs. And notice I also took the powers and brought them in front of the log. So I'm assuming you can apply those two things at the same time. Hopefully you can. Then expand out that bracket that's in there. And notice again, I've got two x's in there. So bring x's onto the left, any term with an x on the left, put the others on the right. You get this, factor out the x, divide by the bracket, and that's it. Okay, you've got a bunch of log of c, log of d, I don't know what a, b, c, d are, just leave it like this, that's your answer. Next, so here we got this one. So we've got an x inside of the log. In order to get rid of the log, I put this to the power. So it's log base 10. So I can put both sides 10 to the power of. Once I do that, 10 to the power of log will cancel out. I get x minus three. So x is 10 squared plus three, which is 103. And I can double check this. You can put this back inside of the log just to see if this works, and indeed, it does work. It's good to double check this, make sure, because there's gonna be a case where an answer doesn't make sense. So you'll need to start getting into the habit of double checking your work. This will help with uh, making sure you get things right in the end. Here's another one. Log five plus log x minus two equals one. 
So because I got two logs on the left, I can't just do 10 to the power of. First, I need to combine those logs. So I can combine it like this. Then I can do 10 to the power of both sides. So I didn't show it on the left, I just showed that I canceled it out. Divide by five, add two, not too bad. Check it, put the four back into the equation, it works. You can try it, make sure it works, it does. Next, we're getting more and more complicated here. Again, there's two logs on the left, so I cannot do two to the power of to get rid of it. I first need to combine the logs. So here we go. It's a log plus a log, so they multiply inside. Now I do two to the power of both sides of the equation to cancel out the log. Expand out the brackets, expand out the exponent. Now I've got a quadratic. You know with quadratics you need to solve it by factoring it, but first we need to move the 4 onto the other side. Now I factor it. What adds to negative 7 multiplies to positive 6. That's going to be minus 1 and minus 6. So I've got two solutions for x. x equals 1 and x equals 6. But we need to check this. Make sure that both of these values work. So let's try x equals 1. If I plug x equals 1 into these equations, notice I get two negative values inside of the logs. This is not good. I can't have a negative log. So this value doesn't work. But if I use 6, 6 minus 5 is 1, 6 minus 2 is 4, I'm good. So this one actually does work. That's why I said you need to check, because sometimes your number is not going to be correct. You need to double check your answers. A giant equation here. Let's do this one. I think this is the last one. Just to make it more complicated. So I've got everything is log base 5. So I know in order to get rid of log base 5, I need to do put everything 5 to the power of both sides of the equation. But I need to combine the left-hand side of the equation first. What I'm going to do first the number in front of the logs, I put to the powers. So I put the half to a power, I put 3 to the power. Simplify those powers a little bit. And notice on the right hand side I did the same thing, that one wasn't as complicated. Now I've got two values on the left with log base 5, and they're being added. So I can multiply those inside of the bracket. And now I have two logs equal to each other. So I put both to the base 5. So I did 5 to the power of the left-hand side, 5 to the power of the right-hand side. Cancels out those logs, and I get this. And then from here, you just do some algebra. So divide by 2, expand out the, uh, the power there, bring everything on one side, factor it. This is going back for a long time. You've seen this many times before. Here's your two solutions, but I need to check them. Put them back into your equation. If x is negative 3, would this work? Yes, it does. We're good with that. Let's check out x to the negative 11. If you plug that in, does it work? No, it doesn't. So you always need to double check and make sure when you do this that it actually does work. Because sometimes it won't. That is that. Two things. Just get comfortable with algebra. You're going to use it lots. Second thing, double check your answer. If you get two solutions, most likely one of them is not going to work. So just always double check and make sure that those solutions do in fact work. Then you'll, uh, then you'll do fine. So I escaped. I made it onto a transport. I'm just making a way back to my, to my lair at this point. Yeah, so please take my warning, heed my warning, don't divide by zero, don't do this, it'll end up in, in world disaster, so please, please don't divide by zero, and again, share this video, make sure that others know that, that this, is, this is the case, this is what's going to happen, unless, unless we obey this law of mathematics.